Yeah, I spoke to Pietro yesterday. He's on his way to Pocono. Um, he's going to be racing there this weekend. Um, he had a hard race in Mid Ohio. Um, it doesn't surprise me because it was his first race after uh, the accident he had in Spa, and um, the track is tough there. Uh, physically, it's it's very very hard. And then I was talking to him on the phone, and he was explaining to me that he couldn't put all the pressure that he wanted to put on 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 all of the breaking points. Like uh, it, it, it was a lot of pressure that he had to add uh, to. Uh, his breaking and 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 he ended up losing uh, some time of that and and obviously going to an oval because your breaking on an oval is a lot more like a million times more delicate than uh, on a road course if you break um, he he thinks he's gonna be fine like he was very optimistic I also think that he's gonna be fine and um, we'll see this weekend like uh, I'm, I'm going to be cheering for him at home. I'm going to be watching him and uh, hopefully he can do extremely well. Catch more of our exclusive interview with sports car veteran Christian Fittipaldi on an upcoming episode of Motorsport Report on motorsport.com.